This patch of dirt road is where Bernalillo County Sheriff's deputies found a big clue early Saturday morning. The Tahoe was right where, right across the, where your vehicle is now. Neighbors tell Action 7 News they saw police surround a gray Chevy Tahoe here around midnight. It fits the description of a vehicle authorities have been after. Investigators believe it's tied to the one used in a deputy involved shooting late last night. It was two automatic shots right away, one after the other. This man tells Action 7 News he was working late when he heard the shots. It caught me off guard, so it freaked me out for a second. I was like, what's going on? It started when BCSO spotted an SUV matching the description of one that took off from police earlier in the night near Coors and Gun Club. Deputies spotted it again near Coors and Phillips and tried to pull it over. The deputies got out of the cruiser and started giving commands to the suspect to stop and get out of his vehicle. Instead, police say that suspect drove towards the deputies, hitting the cruiser and one of them. Investigators say the other deputy fired and hit the suspect's windshield as he spit off. The CSO is not identifying the deputies involved. But they tell Action 7 News the one hit by the vehicle is a three year veteran of the force. He was treated and cleared by EMTs on scene. The other who fired the shots is now on paid leave pending the outcome of the investigation. And tonight, the sheriff's office tells me so far it hasn't been able to retrieve any dash cam video, any lapel video, or even any surveillance video of that incident. Well, they're still checking to see if the deputy's belt recorders picked up anything. Reporting from Southwest Albuquerque, Mike Springer, KOT Action 7 News.